All right, begin. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are still having a great day so far. Let's go ahead and talk about this situation that's going down between Tamar and her ex-husband's new girlfriend, right? So Vince's girlfriend by the name of Angie and Tamar seem to get into it just a little bit on social media. So what's going on is that there have been rumors that Vince and Tamar could get back together, right? They could possibly come back together and live happily ever after and you know, bring the family back together and things of that nature. And so Angie caught wind of it and she didn't like it and she immediately ran to social media with the quickness and equipped with all the pettiness and this is what she posted. So as you can see, she wanted the whole world to know that her and Vince were on a FaceTime call and basically she was saying there's no chance in hell that Vince is going to leave her to go back to Tamar. So Tamar caught wind of this and she responded. So this is what Tamar had to say. Sis, I don't know. I'm over here under construction, single, working on myself, making a life great for me and my son. At this point, baby girl wants attention. So I'm going to pray for her, my cousin Vince, and his girlfriend, Angie, my cousin Vince. I don't know if she meant to put a comma in between cousin. You know what I'm saying? But hashtag stay under construction. So the only question that I have for Tamar is that if she's so much under construction, why would you even respond to this foolery? You know, you let stuff like this slide, let her have her moment. So what? She's seeking attention. You know, out of everything that you've been through, you worried about rumors stating that you may go back to that hippopotamus. You know, I think you have bigger fish to fry. Focus on your son, get better, get well, and move along with your life, right? But anyway, I want to talk about Tamar and the confession that she made in regards to how the real getting fired from the real affected her right so she had another conversation i believe there's many series and parts of the conversation that she had with taraji in regards to you know how she kind of broke down mentally over things that were happening and she talked about when she started to notice a change in her demeanor you know over the course of just living day-to-day -day life you know, she noticed a significant change in her behavior. So let's take a listen to what she had to say in regards to that matter. First time I knew that um, things wasn't normal is when everything went down with the real. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I was in my bedroom. It was completely dark. Did you feel like you went to fall? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't shower and you don't eat and you don't know what day of the week it is mm -hmm. or the time and, and you don't care you don't care yeah. mm -hmm. i was able to hide it enough to pull myself barely out of it mm -hmm. right yeah. mm -hmm. and then i go back to the same toxic lifestyle yes. mm -hmm. without dealing with everything mm -hmm. that happened to me prior and that is continually happening to me right mm -hmm. from day to day i was just barely sliding by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i just didn't see another way out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i wanted okay tamar so i need you to make up your mind last week you said that you were tired of being this ghetto mama on tv right and you wanted to be a better representation for your son and that contributed to you know why you no longer wanted to be with us now you're saying that the real getting fired from the real put you in that mental space as well now i will admit that there could be a multitude of things that are true at the same time so maybe those things are what drove her to that negative mental space so like i said i'm just praying for tamar's well-being i want her to get better at the end of the day i think she needs to stop being so dramatic though it's really a turn off i'm just keeping all the way 100 i have never seen i have never seen in my life such a dramatic individual like tamar i mean she is over the top dramatic and it will scare a lot of dudes away like good lord she's you know she's too much you know could you imagine getting into an argument with her behind the scenes i mean i'm pretty sure that you can't get a word in you know but all in all what's most important 
that Tamar gets herself together and works extremely hard to to be the best representation that she wants to be for Logan. That's all that matters. Logan should be her number one priority right now. But anyway, I'm going to let this go. I hope you guys drop down in the comments and give me your thoughts and opinions. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.